situated near the northwestern region of the Sarhand Ropar railway line in the village of Harmannagar in Fatehgarh Sahib Punjab is the mosque of Sadna Kasai or Sadna the butcher it is the largest surviving historical mosque not only of Sarhand but the whole of east of Punjab and is enlisted in the protected monuments of the department of archaeology Punjab it is believed that the mosque was erected in the memory of Sadna Kasai however the authenticity of its existence is a mystery there are many beliefs and hypotheses as to who might have built the mosque and during which period as there's no written record of who constructed it a fort was erected by sultan feroz shah tughlaq in sarhand but whether he built the mosque or not is still not clear the structure is made up of sarhandi bricks with some parts re-erected or repaired with stones its sanctuary spreads over an area of 37 into 18.8 meters and comprises three compartments the central one being larger than the other two attached to each side compartment are two rectangular chambers each measuring 2.8 into 1.7 meters the facade of the mosque rises up to a height of 9.8 meters or 32.15 feet up to the parapet and is pierced by five entrances in all the three central entrances of which the middle one is larger and is placed in projected bay gives access to the main compartment whereas the two archways lead to the side compartments originally the building was covered by five domes with the central one being the largest but unfortunately it has collapsed the four smaller domes are topped by a finial the left compartment finial has been tilted and broken and is lying on the dome alexander cunningham in a report of his visit in 1863-64 mentioned the existence of all five domes whereas rogers found the mosque dome less so the original domes of the mosque crumbled after cunningham's visit sometime before 1888 or 89 and the domes now covering the site were re-erected after rogers visit the western wall of the central compartment has three mihrabs this compartment is connected to each side wing only through two archways for the purpose of roofing each side wing is divided by an arch into two parts each measuring 6 into 5.7 meters over each square section rises a domed ceiling supported at corners on the pendentives the absence of mihrabs in the side wings and their almost complete separation from the central compartment indicates that only the main compartment was intended to serve for prayers a peculiar feature of the mosque is an intermediate gallery running over each wall of the mosque and approached by two stairways from the corners of the facade a similar gallery is also seen in the kila e kohna mosque in delhi its main function is still unknown but it appears that its main function was to lighten the dead weight of the walls over the arches below the building bears little decoration the bases of the squinch arches in the central compartment are supported on carved stone pendants in front of the mosque is a wudu khana or a square tank meant for ablutions at the center of the tank was a fountain and there's also a well nearby At present some parts of the mosque have been subjected to vandalism deterioration and growth of vegetation but steps are being taken by the authorities for the conservation of the area